Live stream local news with the free ABC 24 News app. Tonight, several developing stories as we come on the air. The major court battle over a widely used abortion pill. Conflicting court rulings in two different states. One federal judge in Texas suspending FDA approval for a pill that's used in more than half of all abortions. Another judge in Washington state keeping its access status quo. The drug has been approved for more than two decades. The FDA insisting it's safe and effective. An outright ban could impact every state, even ones where abortion is legal. Tonight, the Biden administration weighing in on a case that could go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. We have team coverage tonight. The Justice Department launching a probe into the leak of dozens of classified documents reportedly exposing U.S. secrets from the war in Ukraine to China to Iran and North Korea. The White House caught off guard how the Pentagon is responding tonight. The new push to reinstate two Tennessee lawmakers expelled after leading a noisy protest in the state capitol. The steps that could put one or both back in office within days. Our Faith Abube in Nashville. The Holy Land on edge. A new rocket strike on Israel tonight, this time from Syria. Tensions were already rising after two other deadly attacks. As Christians, Jews, and Muslims gather for sacred celebrations this weekend. Panic on a popular beach. Teenagers running for cover as gunfire breaks out on senior skip day. Six people shot. What police are now saying after detaining multiple suspects. Drenching rain in the south, forcing another delay at the Masters as a new storm moves into the west. Rob Marciano standing by with your holiday weekend forecast. China ramping up its military drills, fighter jets streaking towards Taiwan just days after Taiwan's president met with House Speaker McCarthy in California. And America Strong tonight, a cancer survivor returns to the same hospital where she was treated as a child, this time as a doctor. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. I'm Whit Johnson. We begin tonight with the battle lines being drawn over the traditional Good Friday Way of the Cross procession in Rome. The first pope to do so since an ailing John Paul II did back in 2005. There's still much more ahead on World News tonight this Saturday, including a wild police chase and a surprise that no one saw coming. And the frightening scene when gunfire erupted on a crowded beach. Stay with us. Murder. At some point, police said someone tossed a designer bag out a window, and inside was that puppy, amazingly unharmed, and now in the care of animal services. Authorities say the investigation continues. When we come back, an invasion of sorts in South Florida, the giant blob storming the beaches. Just how much is showing up on beaches this early in the year? The giant bloom of seaweed stretches about 5,000 miles wide off the coast. It's big enough to be seen from space. When we come back, America Strong, a survivor's story that's come full circle. Your petty story. I'm with Johnson in New York. Have a great night. Thank you for making World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast.